very seldom throughout all the years on YouTube that I've done countdown videos. I've seen over 9,000 videos of top 5 Pokemon related videos, top 5 related wrestling videos, and top 5 Riot related videos. In this video, I'm going to cover the top 5 reasons why people hate me. Some may agree, some may have their own reasons for hating me, some will disagree with my points. To each their own. Number 5. I can't take criticism. Well, that is true because even if I do present logic and evidence to back up my point, I'm still going to be biased whether people like it or not. Unlike most people that get criticized, I don't give a damn. People can make over 9,000 videos criticizing me for being an asshole and I'm not going to listen to any of it. Like an old commentator once said, you can either listen to criticism or ignore the criticism and mind your own business. I choose the latter in an effort to avoid magnifying the drama in whatever community. Ignoring criticism is better than censoring it. I would never flag down a video because that would mean I care too much. So I ignore it and carry forward. Number 4. I'm for expanding the death penalty beyond murder. If you have watched my video, Pedophiles Are Seeking Acceptance from LGBT, I stated that all rapists, including pedophiles, should be executed rather than spend time behind bars for lengthy periods of time. Why? Because no taxpayer worth their salt wants to pay taxes to feed, clothe, and comfort someone who emotionally scarred a woman and child. Yes, I do realize that men get raped, but nonetheless, rape is horrible. No one deserves to get raped, and anyone committing rape should be executed for that disgusting crime. Murderers and rapists should be taken out by lethal injection. Number three, I can't stand feminists. Constantly demanding things despite the government giving them rights and the media giving them all the attention they want. Meanwhile, feminists that have kids don't really care about them, but along the lines they'll raise them just so they get a deduction on their taxes every year. When a child grows up living with a single mother instead of both parents, the kids often do not learn anything, often getting coddled. Instead of demanding that men respect feminist ideologies, how about you single mothers show respect for your kids and start teaching them the basic responsibilities like cooking and cleaning? The earlier you teach a child basic responsibilities, the more motivated they make something of their lives toward adulthood. Number two, I support the resegregation of America. Ever since Trayvon Martin got killed by a Mexican named George Zimmerman, black people have gone crazy, rioting on the streets, destroying their own neighborhoods, blocking traffic in multiple towns, and threatening white men. Mexicans have done the same in California and other states that are Hispanic populated. Back when segregation was legal, all races were productive in society. Hispanics that were born in America worked farming and built stuff. Blacks picked cotton, raised chickens, and sold watermelons during the summer months. Asians catered to their own communities out west. Since 1957, forced integration dragged down America morally as there have been multiple riots that led to cities being destroyed socially. Forced integration destroyed places like Detroit, Michigan, East St. Louis, Illinois, and Beaumont, Texas. And now with minorities calling for the death of white people, I think it's time we say goodbye to the minorities while the white people focus on making their own community great again. Number one, I'm an asshole. If it is not obvious now, it should be obvious. I hate minorities, feminists, rapists, Muslims, atheists, communists, homosexuals, and midgets. If a midget, male or female, tried to fight me, I would run. If women are going to continue to the social destruction of America they created 60 years ago, then I would rather die alone. And those are the top five reasons why I'm hated. I'm out of here.